Hi folks, <clears throat> I did this one earlier for you but uh, unfortunately I didn't press <coughs> the record button, at least I don't think I did, because it's nowhere to be found. <coughs> Very frustrating when that happens, so I'm talking to myself. Uh, well it's an acrylic on a 10 by 8 inch 2mm uh, MDF pan panel. Uh, so I've used about five colours, bare, ultramarine, uh, I mixed the primers, the three primers for my my background trees and I added a bit of uh, paint spray just to give a bit of depth, shadow to the base of the trees. It's very, it's very uh, similar to many that I've done over the, over the years and it's, it's, a, it's just my idea of of a view from what we call the boardwalk in Morden Hall Park and you're just looking over this little pond here the, the grass gets cut back it's, it's much bigger than I've made it look but I, I, I did it in acrylic and I, I just like the effect of that so it just adds another dimension I could have put another bit of a tree going up here and there but I, I wanted a simple one so the colours I used ultramarine cadmium red bit of Payne's Grey, uh, cadmium yellow, a good quality cadmium yellow, I have to say, and uh, yellow ochre. So a very basic pal palette. And I livened the sky here uh, using uh, a larger flat brush, which is still wet, just using up a bit of, bit of the white mixed with a tiny bit of uh, yellow ochre and cadmium red, just to warm it up a little bit. I didn't go down to the trees, I didn't want to do that. But uh, I like doing these little scenes, they're very easy when, you, when you've done a few. Oh, I've cleaned the brush out very well, so I'll take the opportunity to do that. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit sad that, that uh, you haven't seen the whole video, but I, I think my camera is slowly going to the dogs now, it's starting to misbehave a little. It's done very well. I've, I've recorded about 2,000 videos with it. And I've got, uh, I've got a new one coming, but it's not in stock yet. Uh, the Panasonic Camcorder V770, which I think is apparently is one of the best of the budget cameras. So I'm looking forward to receiving that hopefully in January. And then we can hopefully do some good work. And I've got a friend that, that knows how to set it up. We use one in the church, and it's very all through the pandemic. It's been very, very good, and I just want it on basic settings that will compensate for the, the difference in the light and and the colours. So uh, it's autofocus, really, but one that will adjust to the light automatically. But we'll see about that. Uh, but I get a lot of pleasure out of doing these little ones. I, I did prime four, there's no point in cutting one, so I cut, I cut, I cut one length about three foot and I, and I got four panels out of it. So I've given it one coat of primer and the primer lifts the surface so you can hear a bit of truth. But I might mix a, a little bit of a, a wash of burnt umber over, that, over these just to give a bit of a tone. I was watching uh, Fake or Fortune on, on a, on a, 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 a constable. Absolutely beautiful. It had been worked on. It was only a small one, 20 inches by 6, uh, 12, something like that. Uh, it was a bit more a sketch than anything, but it was Willie Lott's Cottage from a different angle. It was absolutely beautiful. It's on YouTube. It was uh, the BBC programmes, uh, and then they put, put them on, uh, if you're lucky, put them on YouTube. So I can watch them because I haven't got a TV licence. Uh, legally, of course. But you have to, should pay the rules. Uh, but it's Philip Mould and, uh, and uh, Fiona Bruce, a marvellous pairing uh, and fabulous programmes all over the world trying to check the validity or the provenance of of what could be a fake 
and it's very, very interesting. And the constable, well, it was just beautiful. And there was one by Nicholson, Ben Nich I think it was Ben Nicholson. Um, but it was his dad. They were trying to uh, uh, validate a, uh, a a glass jug with freezers. I can't remember whether they did it or not, but, but Ben Nicholson came into it. I think he was a son and they showed a photo, they showed a painting of squares. So I was like, and he'd used different colours, pastel colours mainly, but but the colours beefed up with with some KY jelly. Uh, and I think they must the acrylics he used, they must have been quite a bit thicker than the stuff I'm using at the moment which is pretty weak. I've, I've got one good tube of, of uh, acrylic artist's great Taylor Rowney. This one, given to me by a friend, Cabernet Yellow. They're all hues, of course, but it's an artist's quality and it's really, really good. It's uh, ultra thick, ultra thick acrylic. And it's the only one I've got. So, uh, so there we are. I'm trying to pad this out to give a few minutes at least so that you can actually see what I, I did and listen. Looks like the figures are going across the the tops of the uh, grasses. Uh, well, it could, could well be. But you couldn't see them now because the, the grass hasn't really been cut to any degree, all the marsh grass. But it's a lovely park, I'm sure there, there are a number of people that know Baldwin Hall Park in South London. It's very, very lovely. Uh, even, even now, we we rode our bikes along it last last Tuesday. But I don't think I want to go out in the very cold now, dull weather, damp tomorrow on the bike. <laughs> Give a death of cold. Uh, so that, that's what I what I did after the one I did for Patreon. So. Plenty to look at. So, uh, just if you if you like acrylic painting, I'm quite liking it. I prefer oil, but you can work on this these very quickly. They dry quite quick, and you can change them at any time. Well, I painted that. That's a bit a bit tacky, but uh, that's a lump there. Uh, nice bit of impasto on there. And I just, I just scumbled the white, the white over, just to uh, so it wasn't too insipid. But I, I like these views. It took me quite a while to learn to do them. You just paint here. If it's oil, you can just drag the, the darker shadow colour down into the water. But uh, it did, didn't come out too bad. Uh, so there we are. Anyway, folks, I'll get back to you tomorrow. I've still got another three or four days to go for Christmas or to a further lockdown, we hope not, with everything all arranged again. Uh, so I'll, I'll do more for you before Christmas, Christmas Day, which is Friday, isn't it? Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. So I'll, I'll, I'll work up to, to Friday, and maybe uh, something over the next day or so, until we get back to normal. Anyway, uh, if I don't see you, have a great Christmas in spite of everything, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for, for watching, and in this case, listening. Bye-bye.